Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's tutorial I'm making a slip from a stretch material. I'm working with a lycra material which is a four-way stretch material. The side of the fabric that stretches the most will be the width of my slip. I'm using an old slip as a pattern. I'm going to pin the strips back and fold it in half and the shape that you need is this, the neck, the armhole and the side seams. If you haven't got a slip to trace the pattern on, you can use an old t-shirt or a tank top and you can do the exact same. So just fold the front and then fold it in half. So I'm cutting the front panel first. I'm going to move the straps out of the way and pin them down. So I'm folding it in half and placing the two folds on top of each other facing me. So when cutting, uh, we cut close to the neckline and to the armhole, but when we get to the bust, the waist and the hips, or the side seams, we keep an inch extra for seam allowance. So now we're going to cut the back panel and don't forget that the stretchy side of the material goes across the body. So this time I'm folding it so the back panel of the slip is facing me. Because instead of having the front panel as the shape, we want the back panel as a shape. So here I'm going to measure both the necklines and cut straps for them. The front neckline was 13 inches and the back neckline is 10 inches. Keeping about an inch or so extra, you need two straps of 2 inches in width. I've placed the back panel and the strap wrong side facing me and you pick up the strap and just place it straight on top of the neckline and pin it down. Do the same for the front neckline and make a straight stitch across the strap. So we're taking the strap in our hands and folding it over so it matches the seam that we've just done 
and then folding it again. I'll show you that again. Um, so fold and fold again and then make a seam. So this is what you should look like, this is the front and back and we're just going to cut off the extra straps at the end. And we need to make the binding for the armhole and the straps. To do that you can get someone to measure where you want the strap to go or you can measure an old cami top. I'm going to keep 11 inches for my strap. I've laid out the front and back panel like this and I've left an 11 inch gap in between for where my strap will go around my shoulders. Start off by measuring the first armhole, the strap and the back armhole. Mine is about 26 inches. I'm going to keep a couple of inches extra and cut a long strip which will be 2 inches wide and we're going to sew this all in one and you'll need two straps, one for each side. I've cut two strips here and the wrong side of the panels are facing me again, same as before and the straps are the wrong side up as well. Leaving a bit extra, just going to pin this down making sure the strap isn't twisted. So the same strap goes on the front armhole to the back armhole. So once you've pinned all four of the armholes, you can go ahead and just make a straight seam. So we're not sewing the shoulder strap areas at the moment, we're just sewing all four armholes to the strap. This is how it should look once you've done all the armholes. Uh, I suggest you make a few cuts by the most rounded part of the armhole. The next seam we're going to do is the same as we did on the neckline. Taking the strap, we're going to fold and fold it again, keeping the seam allowance towards the strap. And when we come to the shoulder strap, we're going to fold and take one fold and put it on top of the other and pin it down. and make one straight seam all the way from one armhole to the other and the same on the other side as well.
So once you've cut off all the extra straps at the end, it's time to sew the side seams. It's just a straight seam, keeping one inch from the end. We're going to sew from one end to the other, on both sides. So the side seams are done, and now would be a good idea to try it on for fitting, because there's only just one step left to do. And that's the bottom hemline. For this, we're going to fold once and fold again, and make a seam. And when it comes to the side seams, we just open it out before we fold and fold again. So guys, this is the final product. I'm really happy how it turned out. I wanted to keep it long because it's going underneath a dress. And the reason I made it into a stretch fabric is because I wanted to create a snug feeling underneath a dress that I'm wearing and not have a loose fitting chemise uh, or a short cami top which will just ride up every time you move around. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can share more videos like this with you guys. Thanks for watching.